He spent just 200 days in office, yet with a lot of defining moments. Late General Murtala Mohammed did not mince words about his mission in government. He called it a collective regime. Nigeria has been left to drift. This situation, if not arrested, would inevitably have resulted in chaos and even bloodshed. In the endeavor to build a strong, united and virile nation, Nigerians have shed much blood. The thought of further bloodshed, for whatever reasons, must, I'm sure, be revolting to our people. He rid himself and the office of the usual official extravagance. He lived in the house he occupied before he became the head of state. Late General Muritala Mohammed often drove himself and shunned convoy of cars and sirens. Well, I only hope he had not died in vain. Because for whatever he was murdered for, um, I have not identified any significant thing that had been achieved thus far by various governments that come and gone after him. That's why I said I hope he has not died in vain. He sold all the property in Kano. He helped the children. But when he Yoba, when he get over talk in Penna, because he was so good, they didn't allow him to live. But we still remember what he does. A good man can never die. Bakwiriti ni murita la lu luri uye. Subwa aroko tolo na kubu ya luma vipi ili aye o o o ya wale ungubu oja vipi ya wenyara umu losile pata pata. On assumption of office, late General Muhsala Muhammad declared his assets and gave back whatever he thought was not properly acquired to the state. Murita Lama was the best head of state Africa ever had, not only Nigeria. Our foreign policy was changed when he became the president. We became superior to the British who are colonial master. And Murita Lama was a great man. He was the best. Since that time up till now, I call him the best president we have got in Nigeria. He fought corruption with zeal and vigor in government, the military, and civil service. Unless conscious efforts is made for us to progress for the benefit of Nigerians, we will continue to count years after years without much of anything good to show for it. And that's a pity. In fact, we in Nigeria, maybe because of our low understanding and also because we are always impatient, that may be one of the reasons that he was murdered. So, and I know that it is now a big regret for Nigeria. Nigeria was going into a rebirth, championed by late General Muritala Mohammed. The people applauded him, but his enemies swore. On the afternoon of February 13, 1976, the copists took advantage of his ordinary routine to rid his car and body with bullets in a forceful takeover that was budged on arrival. Late General Murtala Mohammed promised to return power to the civilian on the 1st of October 1979. He returned to hand over power to a democratically elected government of the people by October 1st, 1979. Which General Olusha Gumbasunjo ensured that it come to pass. Late Murtala Mohammed introduced words like fellow Nigerians and with immediate effect, which has become part of our vocabulary. He is the first Nigerian citizen to have his portrait on Nigeria's currency notes, and the famous Murtala Mohammed Airport was named after him. 41 years have come and gone, but the greatest way to immortalize him is for both current and future leaders to emulate his legacies. He was 38 years old. Tunde Olaniro, OGTV News.